Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Leo love reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. All right, so we're going to look at past, current, and future energies. And we're going to get some romance angels and some tarot. And then close out with an oracle. All right, so what's going on with Capricorn and Leo? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I'm feeling like one more. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. I kind of feel like it's saying to let, thing, let something go, right? Let go of control issues. Kind of have that time to disconnect. Whether retreat could mean that maybe you each need to disconnect and kind of Think about things on your own, or it could be that the two of you need to retreat together, right? That maybe the two of you need to kind of go into a neutral ground and have that getaway where you feel like you can focus and get back to you, right? Sometimes we get so wrapped up in life and what's going on that we just, it's like, okay, we need to reconnect. We need to get back together. We need to be on the same page. We need to get back to where we were. All right, so what's going on here? Let's get some tarot. Three of swords. Past energy. Three of swords and seven of wands. I definitely feel there's a dis disconnect going on here. Current energy. Tower and seven of pentacles. Future energies. Three of pentacles. King of wands. I'm feeling like one more the standing stone, and that is justice. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I like that. Aces are new beginnings. Pentacles can represent physical, so it could be that physical connection going on between the two of you. All right, so past energies. This could represent yesterday. It could represent last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago, whatever that represents for you. We have the three of swords and we have the seven of wands. Three of swords. So in this deck, she's heading towards this kind of dilapidated building here, right? And in this card, it's either, is she heading towards the cabin with her bags to fix this up because this is broken down and this is kind of falling apart? Or is it, is she saying goodbye to this cabin and she's packed up her stuff and she's leaving? So that is kind of whatever that represents for you. We have the seven of wands where she's kind of standing here and she's rearranging her wands, but she has a smile on her face, right? She's kind of figuring out where she wants everything to go. She's got a nice cozy home here. Now, did she take this cabin and did she turn this into this cozy home here? But that's something that you have to, you know, whatever resonates for you. So I feel like in the past, maybe you were questioning, do I go into that cabin? Do I continue with this relationship or do I walk away? Do I spend time working on it? Do I spend time trying to work on this relationship or do I walk away? I feel like you kind of had those questions in the past and you were trying to figure out, okay, one minute I feel like I have a cozy home, right? Maybe it could be that one minute the relationship is going great, it's going good. You know, the, the good's really good, but then the bad's really bad, right? There's this big up and down within the relationship. So it's kind of like a roller coaster ride because you're like, oh, one minute, you know, everything's great and then the next minute you know it's the end of the world like I don't know maybe you were getting tired of this up and down right this kind of feeling alone and wanting to walk away or this feeling of trying to work on it right maybe you try and work on it things get better for a little bit and then all of a sudden things fall apart again so I feel like there's a lot of turbulence that was going on within the relationship right now here in this current energy we have the tower and on this one the tower is um, this is the wild hunt and so they're all coming and so they're tearing down the tower but the sun is bursting through right the good energy is coming through it's taking down those walls 
tower energy is you know shaking things up it's changing things down something was built on a false foundation that we need to build the foundation of the relationship stronger so i feel like that's kind of where you are now seven of pentacles is kind of you know usually it's someone who's kind of standing there and looking back and you know there's the tree and the pentacles and it's you know trying to you're you were moving along but now you're kind of at this standstill and you're like what do i do and i feel like with this one um, he's very deep in thought and kind of taking his time with the pentacles and kind of taking care and detail on each one, right? Kind of, I feel like it's kind of taking a closer look at the relationship and what are those things that need to be rebuilt? What are those things that need to be worked on? What are those things, what are those changes that need to be made? And also could be that maybe somebody is thinking about, walk, maybe you're thinking about walking away. Um, starting new. I don't feel that from this relationship. I don't feel that it's wanting a breakup, but of course, whatever resonates with you, I'm kind of feeling like it's something has to be changed here so that it's not so up and down, so that it's not so, you know, that it's more even. I mean, being even all the time is definitely boring, but I mean, you can have those ups and downs, but I feel like these are very, I feel like it's, you are questioning in the past, whether or not you even wanted to work on it or stay on the relationship, right? Like you don't want to get to that point within the relationship. Like you, you want it to be so that, okay, we're having a difficult time. How do we get through this? And I feel like that's where you are right now is you're trying to decide what is it that I need to do? What, it, what needs to be changed? What can we work on? Over here for future energies, we have the three of pentacles. So, so that's working, right? Working on it. Future energies, working on it, working on things, working on solutions, learning from the past, right? Getting kind of back into that cozy space here with this King of Wands, which could represent Leo because it's wands, but getting back to that cozy place, right? Kind of learning from what went on in the past and saying, hey, I don't want to repeat that again, right? We don't want to get ourselves, we don't want to get this relationship to that point again, right? And kind of what is it can we learn from the past so that we can change things in the future, Standing stone, um, that is the justice card. So things falling in favor, th your favor, things happening for you, um, making things happen where it feels kind of more balanced, right? Over here, it could be those big ups and downs. Over here, not so big, right? It's a little more even. It's a little more relaxed. It's feeling a little, it's feeling better. Again, ace of pentacles, new beginnings, new starts, new feelings. We have the let go of control issues. Maybe somebody's trying to be too controlling in this relationship and does that need to change, right? Does that, does that need to be adjusted there? Um, always trying to keep the relationship in a certain way and it's like, well, it's fighting against that. Um, or trying to make things happen that really aren't ready to happen. Sometimes, you know, if you want change, like you, it's almost like sometimes you just have to kind of let things happen and see where it goes. And retreat, again, is that that retreat within yourself that you need to take time to yourself? Maybe it's both. Maybe you both need to kind of think about what it is that's going on in the relationship that needs to be worked on, that needs to be changed, or how you're feeling, or where that you're feeling those negatives are, and then having that retreat, getting away to that neutral ground and talking to through things. Again, as I said before, if you don't like the way things are, you have to take those actions to change them, right? You, you have to take the actions. You can't leave that to somebody else. Sometimes, again, you just have to let things go and you have to see what happens, but then sometimes you have to take control to make those changes. If things haven't happened and it's not changing, then maybe it's time to change some things, take some actions. I feel like in the past we have this Eight of Swords and that's, you're feeling like you were held back, right? You're feeling like you were trapped. That's kind of what I was feeling. It's like you were feeling like this trapped feeling that you were like, I don't know, do I stay? Do I go? Do I work on this? I keep trying. Nothing's happening. I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. Nobody's listening to me. Nobody's hearing, hearing me, having that frustration, trying to make that decision. Okay. That two of swords right here with this house, right? As I was saying, is she going into the house with her bags to fix it up or is she leaving the house and she's packing up her bags? I feel like that was you trying to make those decisions, trying to figure out again, two of swords is looking at both sides of the situation. If I stay and I try and work on it, 
what direction is that going to go in? But if I leave and I walk away, what is that going to bring in, right? Kind of looking at all of those sides. I feel like you didn't have that clarity in that past. You really weren't sure. It was kind of this, everything was definitely up in the air. Current energy, like you're ready for growth. You're ready to figure things out. You're ready to work on things. You're ready to find those answers because I feel like you don't want to stay in the energy that you were in. Like you're like, I was in that long enough. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to figure out solutions to what's going on here, right? Lots of ideas. I feel like with the seven of cups, there's lots of ideas. There's lots going on. I feel like there's a lot swirling in your head. You have a lot of ideas. I almost feel like you have to take that time just to kind of to sort through those and to figure out what are those that are most important to you and what do you want to communicate to the other person. But I feel like with the castle here and the rainbow, I feel like there is a positive solutions to the problems, but you just have to take that time to work through it, right, and figure those out. Page of Pentacles, pages is young, new energy, but I feel like it's leading... The Pentacles, Page of Pentacles is leading to that good energy, right? Good changes, positive changes happening within this relationship. And that's the frame of mind that you have to go in with is that you have to try and stay positive on how to work out the solutions. If you're angry and you're irritated and you're not in a good place, it's not going to get you anywhere. You have to make sure that you're in that good energy to find those solutions to make those changes. Could be that for if you, we have the five of swords and it could be that maybe there are other people that are involved in the relationship but I also feel like it's kind of letting those things go that were in the past kind of working through those and then not bringing those back up again like putting those to rest because maybe that's something that happened well one or both keeps bringing up things that happened in the past and when you keep throwing that in the person's face like you're never going to be able to move forward if you're living in the past right maybe letting that go I feel like this is just a temporary hardship. I feel like the two of you are going to be able to work this through, but you both have to be on the same page to wanting to work through the relationship and wanting to figure out, you know, how do we serve, how do we figure this out? How do we get past this? And kind of busting through those old traditions and habits or things that went on in that past energy and just kind of putting that to rest, busting through that and starting new and fresh. But if you're both not on the same page and you're both not in the same direction, then I feel like it's just going to turn into more, more arguments. Again, letting go of control issues. What does that represent to you in this relationship? Is someone feeling like they're in more control? Someone's in less control? Is somebody being too controlling? That, ha that has to be let go and then that turns into arguments. You know, is that what needs to be worked on? So I feel like it's definitely making sure that you're in this energy here, right? The Empress, the Seven of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, that you're in that energy there moving forward because otherwise it could just turn into more problems. But then look at that. Our next card out was the Nine of Pentacles, which I love that because that is those positive rewards, those positive things from working on this, right? If you're busting through those old habits and those old things that went on, but then it's very rewarding because you're like, I'm letting that go. We're moving past this. We're going into a new phase of our relationship. We're going into this Ace of Pentacles. I felt one more. And having that freedom, right? Letting go, letting go of the past, finding those solutions, working through things. But again, as I said before, you both have to be in the same frame of mind to be able to work on this. If one person doesn't want to talk about it and doesn't want to deal with it, then that kind of leaves that other person out, out, out on that island by themselves. And that's, again, that's that thought process of, okay, do I pack my bags and leave or do I pack my bags and, you know, work on this? But that's up to you. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords, which is getting to calmer weather waters but there's still going to be you know those swords sticking up there's still going to be those challenges but they're not as big right i feel like this relationship is always going to have its ups and downs but i feel like it's not going to be as up and down as it was before and maybe that's what keeps this relationship together is having that you know that spark where yeah you know, there's that little bit of fire and that passion and that, you know, kind of butting heads. And there's a little bit of that that keeps keeps it alive and keeps it going. But I feel like at this point here, it was too much. 
and you're at the point where, okay, I like that feistiness, but I just don't want as much. It's becoming too much. It's be, you know, maybe in the beginning it was really exciting, and that's what kept you drawn together, but then now it's like, okay, I'm getting a little tired of that. I like it, but I don't need it as much. We need things to be a little calmer. All right, so let's get an animal oracle card and close it out. Cat spirit, claim your independence, making sure that you are having your needs met, making sure that you are able to voice your opinion and your feelings and you're able to express that to your partner because that's very important for you to be able to say how you feel and what's going on with you and making sure that you have your independence within the relationship. There's obviously the partnership, but you also have to do those things and feel like your voice is be being heard and that you're, you know, you are making sure that 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 you're happy within yourself too, that you're not feeling controlled, right? Let go of control issues, that you're not feeling controlled within the relationship, that you have a voice, you have opinion, that you're able to do the things that you like to do too, um, or working on that compromise, right, within the relationship. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.